NAM 2024 is in the record books. There was a lot of really cool gear being showcased, and it looks to be an exciting year with some interesting and innovative new things coming out. Both Korg and Nord are looking to release new high-end keyboards this year. First up, the Nord Grand 2 updates the original Grand from 2019 by doubling pretty much everything. There are now two piano layers, two synth layers, and you can now have effects per layer rather than just global. There are new reverbs, delays, and I like the new sliders with the green LEDs compared to the old rotary knobs. This looks like a huge upgrade, and I think you're going to see a lot of original Nord Grands up for sale as people upgrade to this, which, if you are on the market for a digital piano, is good news. Just like the Stage 4, the Grand 2 has the new compressor and unison feature. Nord demonstrated this at NAMM, and it sounds phenomenal. One big letdown is that the piano memory remains unchanged. This is a disappointment because Nord has released some fantastic piano banks over the last several years, to the point where you have to be really selective on which ones you want to load into your instrument, and that 2 gig limit fills up fast. If it's going to be another 5 years before the Grand 3 is released, 2 gigs for piano sounds is just not going to be enough. So this feels like a missed opportunity, especially when the competition has seriously outpaced Nord in this aspect. On the plus side, there is now 1 gig for synth sounds, which is good because the previous 512 megabytes was pretty limiting. Nord is boasting an improved Kawai action for this instrument. The original Kawai action is superb, and I'm curious on what the improvements are. If I were going to fix anything, it would be to improve the longevity of the satin finish on the keys. I love the feel of the original finish, but it wears down over time from repeated playing, and the keys get glossy and lose that nice satin look and feel. Perhaps a slight improvement on escapement would also be nice. I do have a Nord Grand, and it is a fantastic instrument. To me, the one thing that really sets the Nord apart from other keyboards is the overall feel and response when playing. It just responds to touch like a real piano. I think that a lot of this has to do with velocity curves and electronic timing. Of course, this is subjective, as everyone connects differently with different instruments, but I don't get the same feel when I play a VST through either the Grand or another keyboard for that matter. I want to have fat hands and I want to dance. The other really nice looking keyboard at NAMM from Korg is the Grand Stage X, which looks to be a huge refresh and it's definitely giving me some HAL 9000 vibes. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. The white and black futuristic look with the blue LEDs is absolutely stunning. The sliders, slim looking jog wheel, pop out analog sound button, curved back edge, and speaker grill looking sides is an absolute hit in my opinion as far as design aesthetics go. Looking at some of the other Korg releases, their new updated designs do a nice job of bringing past models into the future. Korg changed the front panel considerably from the original Grand Stage and went with a tilted panel, similar to the Nord, and also the Viacount Legend 70s. In my opinion, this is the best type of layout for performing quick changes. It comes at a price though, as there is a smaller footprint for controls. For a synth, more control is better, but for a stage piano, playability trumps the ability to control hundreds of sound design parameters. So being able to make quick program changes is a key feature. Kudos to Korg for getting this right. One other feature that Korg seems to have borrowed from their competition is the ability to have an integral music stand. This was absolutely a missed feature on the original Grand Stage, as a large portion of piano players are going to want somewhere to hold their sheet music or iPads. Another subtle improvement is actually having some flat space on top of the unit to place songbooks or external gear. I would have gone for a slightly sharper angle on the front panel to gain more room on top, but overall, this looks well thought out. Again, kudos to Korg for recognizing and improving on these things, even though some would consider these subtle changes. Korg also keeps a pitch bend and mod wheel, whereas Nord refuses to add one to their Grand Line series. Come on, Nord, it's 2024. A lot of us diehard piano aficionados still want to be able to use a mod wheel. It's a digital piano, not a real piano. I see dead people. In true Korg fashion, there are tons of sounds and patches which is where Korg and also Roland rule in the digital grand piano realm. Korg has three layers compared to Nord's four. Korg also has a few less effects than the Nord, but beats the Nord handily with over 10 times the storage capacity as the Grand 2. The Korg also beats the Nord with connectivity, including an SD card slot and a few more inputs and outputs. The connectivity of the Nord is rather sparse. 
One of the negatives of both units are the legs. While they look stylish, they are not practical for switching from studio to stage. On my own Nord, I have to unscrew a number of bolts for transport, and this is just extra setup and take down time that I shouldn't have to waste. Not sure if the grand stage is any easier, but this looks like a form over function choice from both manufacturers. Oh, he had a great look. Oh, the cape and the boots. No capes. In my opinion, the original Nord Grand outshone the original Grand Stage in a number of departments, mainly in piano action, a better piano sound, and the ability to upload your own samples to the instrument. Unfortunately, on the piano action front, it looks like Korg is still using the RH3 weighted hammer action, which I think is approaching something like 14 years old. A lot of people like the RH3 action, but I would say a large swath of digital piano players recognize newer actions from Kawai, Yamaha, and Dexabel as considerably superior. I have a friend who owns a Korg Kronos, which had the RH3 action as far back as 2011, I believe, and he was surprised at how realistic the action of the Nord was. Others have described the Korg action as sluggish, and I have to agree. After playing a number of great keybeds on other digital pianos, I can't see myself buying a top-of-the-line digital piano with such an old keybed. But if you like the RH3 action, then this could be a great digital piano for you. Korg has announced the Grand Stage X for summer of 2024, and Nord does not have a date currently for the release of the Grand 2, although I would expect it to be sometime this year. Both instruments are <clears throat> pricey. How you doing? Pretty good. Don't do it, Kimber. He didn't save on his car insurance with Geico. But there's a decent used market for the original Grand and Grand Stage with much more reasonable prices. So that's it for today. Be sure and hit that like and subscribe if you like music gear reviews, tips, and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.